Welcome back everybody. So I went through the Martian invasion at least two more times to get every single thing. This is what I got from the last one. Cause I finally like I found the pattern. Like the perfect pattern. So what I do instead of uh flying down over and over again, I just, just do this and then does laser beam you wait, dash back and just do that so you don't have to fly. And usually I can't get hit from other usually, but I still get hit occasionally. But we have everything. We have this right here, which I believe is a mount. Yeah, Cosmic Car Key summons a rideable UFO mount. And then Brain Scammer summons a Skultix mount. I don't know what the fuck a Skultix is. Ooh. The hell? Oh, this is the thing in the invasion. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. Doesn't it? Oh. Ooh. Can't fly, though. That sucks. But it's still pretty cool. It shoots lasers. Alright, alright. And then this, I'm pretty sure it can fly because it's a UFO. Ah! On the lava. Oh, we can't like. Hold on, let me take off the charm of this. Take off charm of this, and then that. Okay. Uh, this is amazing. He's got pretty slow. Uh, was this horizontal? No, vertical. Uh, movement, but it's got pretty nice. I'm guessing we can fly for forever. I'm not positive about that though. It'd be cool if we are able to though. Well, I, I kind of want to see what this would look like with that die. Dang! Riding around in the Hellmobile. Now nah, we'll do it without the die because I want my wings to be pimped out. But uh, so we also got. Oh, we got laser machine gun. This thing would be cool if I was a, if I was a uh, mage. But I don't have a use for it. Uh, oh no. we have a laser drill, which I think this is actually faster than the Pixar, But I don't know. I have to do a comparison. So, fast speed. This has a very fast speed, though. Extremely strong. 230% pickaxe power. So, it does have more pickaxe power. I don't know why you would need more pickaxe power, though. Oh, you can mine from really far. Okay. Xeno Popper. I have no idea what the Xeno Popper does. Does Terrell sell ammo? Let me ask Let me ask Terrell down here. That's his name, right? I'm guessing that's his name. I don't even remember. No, I don't know what the ammo is for. Is it just a musket? Let's see if it's just a musket bullet. Okay, it is a musket bullet. Alright. What about this one? The heck? Oh, it's like the... What? what? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, it's mana. That's what it is. Oh, duh. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Alright. Uh, well, let's just put all this stuff we're not going to use away. Because I don't think I'm going to use that. I already have a Xeno staff. And Seedler. Ooh, should we get rid of the Seedler? Like, we got the Influx Waiver now. It's a good weapon. I gotta reforge it, though. Yeah, I'll take that reforge. I will take that reforge right away. Uh, the Skultic Scrambler, I don't think I'm gonna use this. Not yet. Well, I probably won't use it at all, but it's really cool, to say the least. No, I'll keep it, just in case I want fast ground speed. So let's put this on. Put that back there. So, I have something cool we're gonna do today. If we have a steampunker alive. Which I'm not sure we do, actually. We don't have a steampunker? Yeah, we got more than enough rooms for uh, people to move in, but... Whoa, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, like, this housing suitable. I'm using a table. This housing suitable. This housing... Where's the dryad? But this housing suitable over there, too. Hold on, let me, let me teach Pinky a lesson. So, my goal in this episode is probably going to fight the Duke Fisher. Probably. Not 100% sure yet, but what I want to do is get the Clintaminator. Oh, holy shit, she can throw wrenches. Get the Clintaminator and use this dark blue solution in the jungle. Because that will make it a lot easier for us to find uh, the worms we need. So, I'm going to buy a bunch of this. It's gonna cost a lot. We'll buy uh, 200 right now. How about that? So we'll go 200. Uh, and then I guess we have to kind of wait it out until a person spawns in. Or not a person, but the steampunker spawns in. So I guess I'll kill this slime wave in the meantime. Bought it. Let's head on to the jungle and see what magic we can create here. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to need this anymore. I don't really need anything from Plantera. Or I don't really need Moonglow either because I did start growing some of it. 
So let's let's see what happens here. We're gonna get we want to go deeper into the jungle though to do it, just because. All right, let's 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 go ahead and give a little spray. Ooh, I'm liking it already. I'm loving this already. It looks amazing. It's my kind of my kind of place. Don't mind staying here. All right, so let's see what we want to obviously get lower to have the the best outcome here. Just get a little bit, of, a little bit of everything going on. Make sure we get the uh, good sprays and make sure this place is uh, 100, 100 percent. Well, maybe not 100 percent, but a very high percentage of underground mushroom biome. So we can get us some damn truffles, truffle, truffle worms. I don't even know what they're called. I don't even know what they're called. I don't really care. Hey, there's already ladybugs spawning. Or whatever they're called. Mushy ladybugs? Mush bugs? I don't know. But this place is looking very mushroom-esque, to say the least, right now. It's really easy to find chlorophyte this way, is what I just noticed. Like, it'll stick out. But you can also just find chlorophyte with, uh, longer potions, so it doesn't really matter that much. There's a turtle. How dare a turtle stay here? Don't make me destroy you with our beautiful new and improved weapon. Well, maybe not improve. Well, I guess improved because we did just reforge it. <gasps> I heard a worm. I heard a worm. That or was some other monster. I thought I heard a worm. <gasps> is that it right there? What is that? There's grubby, there's a glowing snail. Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, it was that thing this whole time. All right, let's see here. Let's keep on going though. Keep on getting most of this area filled up. Okay, take out these damn piranhas, par arapaimas, barracudas, whatever the hell they're called. Get rid of all of them. Get rid of all of them. Make this the mushroom lands. So yeah, hopefully we're able to get a good bit. Even though I don't really, actually no, we do need some weapons, some certain weapons from Fishtron. But uh, let's just make sure we got some all the areas near me filled. Just want to make sure I do a, a fairly good job. So I want it to be, we come down here, we will find, maybe we won't find one instantly, but we come down here, we'll find one. Fairly quick. I'm not talking about Martian Pro quick. Because I, I found those way too quick, way too quickly. But uh, this will definitely, let's get rid of that right there. Go ahead and spritz that on there. All right, where else? Um, okay, we'll drop down a little bit more down here. Oh, I can't even see down there. Okay. I thought there was a way going straight down. Okay, what about over here? Whoa, we gotta have this anti gravitation or anti grav hook now. It feels weird. I'm not used to hooking and then going the opposite direction of where I hook. Something I gotta get, get used to. It's really helpful though. You can just swing around and dodge everything. I did that a lot of the time, just waiting for a uh, Martian ship to, to a Martian UFO to spawn, so I wouldn't have to fight the the waves and end up killing the event on accident, having to fight through waves, waiting for the UFO to spawn. So what I do, I just be like, swing around a one block, one block thing, and just they can't touch me. Well, most of the time, that or I just like hide behind blocks. Whoa, did I really just turn that tree into that? That's pretty cool. So trees turn straight into mushrooms. That's nice to know. I have so much more. Oh no, I haven't spotted a worm yet. I should probably take out the net though. I don't have a net. Wait, where's my net? It's in here, isn't it? Has to be in here. It's not in here, what? Am I blind? Guys, do I have a net in my inventory? I feel like I do, but I'm just like not seeing it. All right, we'll go over here. Because I just want to finish the... Actually, no. We'll head... We're going to head to the house. Find my net. Where the hell is my net? Is it here? The heck is my net? I thought I had one. Well, duh. I've had one, but... It has to be in my inventory. I have to be going blind right now. I don't know. If it's in my inventory, I can't see it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to the merchant and buy another one. Uh-oh. That's not good. Can I borrow a net really quick? Thanks, man. Damn it. They killed Terrell. And they killed Mortimer. God damn it. 
Well, it's good that I bought that net from Mortimer. Right before he got killed. Oh yeah, and Terrell died too, but who really cares? I found one. Found a truffle. Truffle worm. Let's see if we can catch this baby. Yeah! Gotcha! Alright. So I found one earlier, but it got stomped out by a uh, possessed armor. Because I wasn't really paying attention. The second I noticed it, I'm like, oh, hey, look, this is possessed armor. I wonder if uh, monsters do damage to truffle worms. They do. Uh, so, I guess we have to, I have to go prep some potions. But let's just take another quick look around, because we're definitely going to want more than one one item against uh, from Fishron, not against Fishron. Because there's definitely some things that would be good from him. I think the Flareon would probably be one of the best weapons we can get. Just because of its uh, pretty decent DPS. And it's got pretty good DPS. It's got high DPS, I think. It can reach the thousands. But not only that, because the Flareon has its own like auto-aim thing. Where the bubbles from it actually attract the enemies. And you don't really have to aim. You just gotta sort of position it at their, direc their direction. But yeah, I'm not seeing any other truffles. It's really... I don't see any movement at all. Alright, so yeah, I'll be right back. Gotta go get a fuck ton of potions. So we are here. Let me scoot my chair up. Alright. So, I don't know how exactly this is gonna go. You gonna go really good or you gonna go really bad. But I guess we'll see, won't we? Let's make sure we got our UFOs in. Let's make sure we got our, uh... Where the hell is our fishing pole? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Ready, we're buffing as soon as we get it. Let's do this! It's go time! I don't know if we... We're probably gonna use this just because of, uh... The auto-aim on it. Probably help out the most. But, uh, we're probably gonna... Use a little mix here of our items. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure yet. We did something. Oh, it's Cthulhu Nato! Cthulhu Nato! Yay! Yikes, watch out for that one! Scooby! What am I talking about? Look how that tornado, that <laughs> Sharknado landed on that single block I had laying down right there. Interesting. Okay, but we're, I've been using a whole lot of, uh, oh my god, what the hell? I've been using a whole lot of Ecorium Flask, because those seem like one of the best flasks to use. Because they drop defensive enemies, and I'm not even sure, though, how much defense this guy has. But, uh, we'll see. That might have been a bad mistake going that direction. Now we're good. As long as that tornado stays way up there. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Do we even have the items we want to equip? We don't. What the hell? Why do we not have this equipped? Alright, there you go. Oh, it's Romeo, the traveling merchant. Okay, so this is the... This is the hard mode right here. I hate this mode a lot. We have to be on our toes here. Like, for serious, on our toes. <laughs> Cause this is like this is like the UFO pretty much. Not really. But if we fuck up, we're screwed, so we don't wanna fuck up. I did just did some pro tactics that I never really do, to be honest. I never do that ever. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up. No, we're good, we're good. We just need to sustain long enough for our uh, health potion to come back up, which is ten seconds. Ooh, that could have been bad. Oh, that was... Oh, no, we're good. We're fine. Uh-oh. All right, that wasn't fine. That wasn't fine. Did we use our potion? All right, we did. Okay, I'm okay with that if we use our potion. Oh, fuck. This is the part I hate the most. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know what's happening. Oh, my God. This is So, this is his... Uh, I believe this is his expert mode little add-in right here. This part fucking sucks. Bought him in expert mode before on a multiplayer server and it wasn't too bad. But this, this right here, this is not fair. This is so fucking, oh my god, I hate it. You do like so little damage to him because he's cloaked the whole time. And you just gotta have, you have to keep on dodging and just hoping that you're doing something to him. Like I'm getting occasional hits on him. But it's just still... It's annoying, this mode, because this can last a while if you don't hit him. There we go. We got him. All right. That wasn't too bad. Please. Please. Please give me the flare on. Please. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. We got it. <laughs> yes. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. 
So, he also drops this right here, the Shrimpy Truffle. Now, oh, hey, we can test out the Flare on. Jesus, that made quick work. What the hell? Get out of here. You're not even, like, an enemy anymore. So, we got the Shrimpy Truffle. It tracks a legendary creature which flourishes, you know, in water and combat. So, this... Look how fast this thing is underwater. This is crazy. This is so amazing. But, uh... I don't know. I don't... It can fly infinitely. So you can fly infinitely on surface too. Look how fast he is on surface. If you dip him in water or are at half low, half health, he will fly at this speed. But I don't know. I think the UFO is faster. Not 100% sure though. You can probably see with the miles per hour here. So we're going to hit. Let's see at full speed. Uh, we do have that equipped. So 41 at full speed. And then let's see this. This should... 33 okay a ufo is faster just in general when it comes to non non-water flight but i can understand where the fish is coming from it might be a good strategy to fight uh duke fish on underwater if i needed to farm him i guess the only reason why i need to farm him is for wings there might be like one other thing that i'm not that i'm missing out on him maybe one big thing i don't know i don't remember his drops i know he drops the wings i know he drops this and this is really what i wanted was this so, uh, in my eyes, I think we're good to go. So, I have no idea what's next. And we're gonna see if we can figure out what's next after that. Because that's usually the end. The 1.2.4, that was the last boss. That was that was it. Duke Fisheron, done. There's nothing else to do. But, from what I've been seeing on uh, some videos from other people, there is supposed to be... What the hell... I keep on I always shield bash penguins there's supposed to be something going on over here at the dungeon which we were just at I don't know why I didn't check it out I don't know maybe I'm gonna swing by there but I don't want to mess with anything just in case it is our next step in progress which I believe it is these fucking penguins they know how to get in the way all the time I shield bash at least like 10 in like a second like I'm trying to I, I use the shield the the dash or bash or whatever I use it to get around quicker and it's just like hey i'm a fucking retarded penguin let me get in your way really quick and then bad things happen it's the penguin's fault though but yeah let's swing by over here see what the let's see what we got going on well does this thing go faster at descending speeds oh it does go faster at descending speeds and ascending oh okay that's a little strat right there notice that hold up i gotta switch no we'll keep that up for hmm I don't know if I'll use the yo-yo too. Eh, yeah, I guess I will. It'd be better to use the yo-yo. Just because uh, we have the flare on, which is going to take place of the hatchet. But I have to get the uh, flare on to godly or legendary, whatever is available for it. So, hold up. i got to click these water leaves because I don't have water leaf plants yet. Oh. Blue cultist archer. All right. So, there's cultist here. That's interesting. So, we'll do that in the next episode. I'm going to farm up potions. For whatever we got next. Even though I should have a good amount of potions as it is. But yeah, I'll see you guys. The hell was that noise in my ear? Oh, it's this dude. See you guys next time.